if you believe that you've been unfairly selected for redundancy, you're at risk of redundancy and or perhaps you're even made redundant and you're wondering, you feel it was unfair and you're wondering what your options are. This video is going to have a look at the common situation which occurs. Firstly, if you've been unfairly treated in respect of redundancy, you may be able to bring a claim for unfair dismissal. Unfair dismissal might arise if, for example, you were unfairly selected for redundancy or if it's not genuine redundancy, that is, it's a sham redundancy and it's being used, redundancy is being used as a sort of a guise to get rid of you and terminate you or perhaps they didn't go through any procedure or some very, very rudimentary procedure and therefore you might be able to bring a claim for unfair dismissal. You need to weigh up, however, the prospects firstly of succeeding so you're going to claim it's a sham redundancy it's not a genuine redundancy at all or you're going to claim you're unfairly selected that's fine you can make those arguments now if you were only if you were made redundant and you're only given statutory redundancy then if you go along to the wrc and you succeed with your unfair dismissal claim then it's quite possible that you could be reinstated or re-engaged or you could be compensated on the basis that it was an unfair dismissal. And it might be worth your while in that situation. That situation, remember, is where you've only got statutory redundancy. However, the employer may protect him or herself by offering you a little extra money, an ex gratia payment, an ex gratia redundancy payment in addition to the statutory. In return for that, then, the employer is going to be asking you to sign a termination agreement. The termination agreement is going to make provision for payment of the statutory redundancy, the ex gratia payment, and it's going to make provision for you waiving your rights to bring any claims against the employer arising from the employment. So in return for the ex gratia payment, the employer is essentially getting some certainty as to future claims coming from you. In return, what you're getting is you're getting a few extra bob over and above statutory redundancy. In that situation, though, you have a tougher decision to make as to whether you go to the WRC or not. Because if you go to the WRC and succeed, then it's quite possible that the money that you've received by way of redundancy, statutory and ex gratia would have to be offset against, against the uh, payment you got. And that's assuming you'd be able to bring the claim. You'll only be able to bring the claim if you haven't got uh, independent legal advice. If you have got independent legal advice and if you have signed an agreement, the likelihood is the WRC won't be able to look into it because the employer will be protected. However, if you were, for example, taken advantage of or if you didn't get independent legal advice or if you were coerced or pressured into signing and you were sort of forced to waive your right to get independent legal advice, then you might be able to bring a claim. But what I'm saying is you have to weigh up the prospect of what you might win compensation by way of compensation versus what you might have to hand back or offset by way of what you've already received. So just let's for the sake of argument say you've got a total package of say 15 grand and let's say you go to the WRC and you got a new job fairly quickly after your redundancy and therefore your financial loss is only a month. So in those circumstances you if you're successful at the WRC may be awarded three grand or four grand, for example, a month's salary. However, you already got, say, 15 grand in the redundancy. So it's quite conceivable that the redundancy payment you will have received would be offset against anything that you might be awarded later on, in which case either A, you won't be any better off, or B, theoretically, you'd have to give money back. So you need to weigh up the situation. In other words, sometimes, it will make sense for you to bring a claim to the WRC uh, and you have nothing to lose. In other words, you might have got a small redundancy payment and it's statutory and you didn't sign any agreement and you feel hard done by, you have a good chance of winning and you're unemployed for six months. That's a different situation because if you're unemployed for six months and you're earning, say, four grand a month, then that's uh, obviously 24 grand. And if you only got five grand statutory, then it's worth your while perhaps bringing a claim because if you succeed, there is money in it for you. However, the corollary is also true. If you got 20 grand as a redundancy payment and you're only unemployed for a month, then your financial loss, strictly speaking, is only a month. 
and therefore it's not going to be worth your while from a compensation point of view in uh, bringing a claim for unfairness and issue. Now, you could get reinstatement or re-engagement from the WRC uh, as a remedy. However, whether you're going to go back to a place which treated you badly, unfairly dismissed you, whether you're going to go back there uh, by way of reinstatement or re-engagement is another thing. Most people won't, most people will move on and the likelihood is you may well have found a new job by the time your WRC claim comes around in any event. But what I'm saying to you in general then, if you feel you've been unfairly treated in respect of redundancy, either being at risk of redundancy or having been made redundancy, you do need to weigh up the options and you need to weigh up the cost and benefit of bringing in a claim to the WRC, what you might win versus what you might be asked to forego if you've already got a redundancy payment of a certain amount. Um, and then obviously there's a question of independent legal advice and signing an agreement or not. If you signed an independent or an agreement and you have got legal advice, then the likelihood is WRC won't hear your case because the agreement will be effective and will be binding. Whereas if you were coerced or taken advantage of and were not given a chance to get independent legal advice, then the WRC will hear your case. Anyway, I hope you find this video useful. If you do, I would appreciate if you gave it the thumbs up down below and I would appreciate if you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're interested in this sort of thing. Thanks a lot.